Yeah, good afternoon. Tom Demmer, representative from Dixon. I think the story that we heard today is an example of uh, how the discussions that happen under this dome affect decisions in communities up and down the state of Illinois. Libin Company has been here for over 100 years, you know, over 600 employees. That's a, that's a huge contributor to their local economy and really a valued part of the state. Think about the mindset that you'd be in as a business owner if every conversation you heard out of Springfield was, we have to come back and do additional tax increases. What we hear from Governor Pritzker is a $3.4 billion tax increase. If you think that $3.4 billion can be pulled out of the economy without an impact, I think you're looking at the wrong, uh, you're looking at the wrong state. Illinois taxpayers have been asked to do quite a bit over the years in property taxes, in income tax increases. This is yet another income tax increase that would put pressure on businesses across the state. The other really important thing, and the reason I'm here to talk about this, is over the last couple of weeks, House Republicans have been working on a budget for the next fiscal year, which for a long time Democrats have said, you know, the only way out of Illinois' problems is to continually raise taxes. We're showing that yet again, a balanced budget proposal can be put together with bipartisan input that does not rely on a tax increase. The idea that the only alternative is drastic cuts is a false narrative. We do not need to be blackmailed by cuts into passing significant tax increases yet again on the people of the state of Illinois. We should instead be looking at ways that we can start the next Libman company in Illinois that for 100 years in the future will be producing jobs and helping support communities across the state of Illinois.